Yeah. 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 This is August 2016. We've come to Hamel Hempstead in Hertfordshire to visit Mr. and Mrs. Dickinson and Son. Twice first combine this year. Good morning, Mick and Lorna. Morning, Cliff. Nice morning, to see Cliff. you again. Yeah, it's been a while, hasn't it? Yeah, you, you did, yeah. You've uh, had a good season this year, won the combine twice. Yeah, had a good year. Yeah, two yeah, first combine. Yeah, where was they from? One was from Yelverton and one was from Cortensis, I think. Yeah. So what combine's that? UBI combine, yeah. yeah. There's 3,300 in the Yelverton one. Yeah. And I think there's 1,850 yeah. in the Cortensis, yeah. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Yep. So you like the pigeons then, Lorna? You're a partner? I am, yeah. yeah. Silent partner. Though. Silent, yeah. yeah. Well, help when needed. I yeah. Am, I am, yeah, yeah. Dog body. Dog body, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Son helps a lot, Stuart. He, yeah, Stuart. He's in Rome at the moment. Is he, yeah? He's, he's, he's doing his Romans, do. He's all over the world. So <laughs> we, we usually see him on a Saturday when the pigeons are yeah. around. Yeah. It's nice, though, isn't it? Yeah. Have yeah. the boy, man. Yeah. What's one or two of your other best performances? Uh, we was. Third section, fifth open, BBC, I think that was Cortensis earlier yeah, in the year. Yeah. It was second section, 20th open and census National Flying Club. Yeah. We had uh, six in the first 200 from Saints National Flying Club. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. Yeah. You've been, been very successful in that spill for an open over yeah, recent years, haven't you? Well, yeah, it's been uh, very lucrative for us. Yeah, yeah you won that a couple of times. We won the first two and we've had a second, third uh, and an eighth, I think. Yeah, that's brilliant. So they've picked up a few thousand. Yeah, brilliant. Very nice. And, and not only that, the, the one of them we bought from Spellform was actually one that won the combine. Really? <laughs> that's brilliant. It was bred by Hathaway and Paul. Yeah. So thank you to them. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> yeah, it's been very good. So this is your combine winner then, Mick? Yeah, this is the one on a combine from Cortensis and the UBI combine. Yeah. 1,850 something, I think, pigeons. Yeah. How far did you fly from there? Um, 200 and, I think it's 211, something like that. Yeah. So what fam is he? He's mostly Janssen. He may have a bit of the raw Sablon in. Most of them are Sablon cost Janssens. Yeah. And uh, there's a bit of uh, Jan Arden in some of them. Yeah. And we buy one or two in every year to try and cross with what we've got. Yeah. And, uh, this yeah, is one that works? Yeah. Well done, mate. Yeah, if they're successful they stay, if they're not, they don't. What system you race your old birds on in there? Every, everything's raced on Widowhood, Keith. We pair yeah. up when we come back from Blackpool, which is the end of January. And I, what I try and do is, is float some, most of the stock bird eggs under the Widowhoods, so they all rear at least one youngster. Yeah. And then the second round on the stock birds, and that usually gives me enough young birds to fly the season, about 60 usually. And um, so that once the, the eggs are away, the second round of eggs are away, they're separated. Yeah. And they're on Widowood till I pair up probably a couple of weeks before the Tarbs National, yeah. where I might send a few on natural. Yeah. How about training? Training, that's train quite hard to start. Once racing starts, probably once a week, 50 yeah. miles, something like that. Yeah, about feeding, do you break down? At the start of the season, I've broken down, uh, barley, you know, at the start, but uh, after about four or five races, they just get the same feed all the yeah. while. Yeah. Yeah. What sort of racing do you like best? Channel racing, national, national racing, yeah, or yeah. anything, yeah. The old club's handy for a yeah. bit of fun. Yeah. yeah, I like the club racing, yeah, but um, say, especially young birds, I mean, I don't really, they're well fed before they go and they tend to fly around a lot when they come back, but yeah. it's just a matter of educating them and yeah. keeping hold of them, really. Yeah, but, yeah I, like, I like the racing. You know, I wish they'd send a, a few more shorter ones in the club, yeah. so that um, I can send most weeks and then not, you know, to the national yeah, for the channel yeah, racing. Yeah, to get them trained up right. Yeah. So. This is Mick's main racing loft. It's brick built. It's nearly 40 foot long with the office on the end. On the right hand section, he keeps his young birds. And in the middle section is widowed ends. And in the end section, he races mostly with a cocks, but maybe sometimes has a few natural pigeons in there. A really smart setup. This is a nice cock, Mick. What's this one? This is a Sabron pigeon. He's had, um, he was third section, fifth open Cortensis for BBC this year. He, I think he was 129th open. I'm not sure which one it was, BICC or BBC, one or the other yeah. national races. 
Super cot, is he widowed? Widowed cot? Yeah, all widowed, yeah. When he won those positions, was he on the widow or did you pair him up? No, he was on widow then, yeah. Absolutely beautiful pigeon, isn't well. he? Nice pigeon, yeah. This wooden loft is mixed main widowed loft. He raises his cocks too. And on the left hand side is his stock loft with a nice little AB for the birds to get out in. This is a sea inside mixed widowed section. And he prefers a secluded nest boxes. So how many stock birds do you keep, Nick? I keep nine pairs of stock birds. Yeah. They're mostly Sablon Jansons. There's a couple of Jan Ardens. This year we've introduced some uh, grandchildren of the machine. Yeah. Which is Sablon Cross. Up, up North Combine think, pigeon, yeah. that one, yeah. 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 So that what we aim for is pigeons that will fly 500 mile on the day. Yeah. What do you look for then when you bring a stock bird in? Just nice balanced pigeon. We usually we buy one or two maybe in Blackpool at one of the shows yeah, or something. Yeah. We look through the auctions and if something comes up that we like. Take your fancy like <coughs> Yeah, we're going to have a look at it and if it handles like we, we yeah, want, you know, yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll buy it. But, so um, when do you pay stock birds up? Uh, after we come back from Black, end of January, yeah. last week in January. Yeah. So how many rounds do you take from them? Two, sometimes three. What I do, I usually breed a few late breads, third round pigeons off of me, best pairs of stock birds. Yeah. And they'll just get trained, they won't be raced. Yeah. Usually about six or eight youngsters. Yeah. So I've always got them at the end of the year. Still got the line, yeah. Yeah. What do you feed them? They all get fed, well I break them down to start with, but they all get more or less the same food. Yeah. And then um, the widowers, once they get to a bit of distance, oh, yeah. I don't break them down, they get a bit more maize, they get peanuts and seed, yeah. just to sort of build them up a bit, you know. This is one of your best breeding ends then, Mick. Yeah, that's a pure Sablon. We bought that uh, out of um, Elimar auction site from a Mr. Honeyman of Fife, which originated from a Pippa. Breeding centre, but they're you all sabbat. Yeah. Bred some good pigeons for you. Bred some nice pigeons, yeah. Well, they had two for us a second this year. And she's paired to her granddaughter of new Freddy, I'm back 17. Yeah. So, yeah, very nice, very pleased with those. This is a sea inside mixed stock section. And I must say, the birds look well comfortable in here. And I've got a nice flight outside to go out and get in the weather. Tell us about your babies there, Mick. How many do you keep each season? I usually breed 60 to 70, yeah. something like that. At the moment, I've still got 50 left. I've only dropped three racing so It's been far. a bad season, too, mate, yeah, this year, 2016. It's been yeah. atrocious. We started off well. We had six in the Fed result, first race. Yeah. And then I think it was the second or third race we got young bird sickness. Yeah. I usually get it earlier in the year, but this yeah. year it was a bit later. It's during racing. So we missed a race and now they're just coming back in the form I think now. Yeah. Last week, they come yeah. well last week. And How about training and feeding? Training, they get well trained to start with. I get them down to what you can, which is 30, 40 miles. Yeah. Um, they've, they've fed twice a day, cleaned yeah. out twice a day. Yeah. And they're kept well fed really. I don't like keeping it because they're growing and uh, you know you, yeah. you don't want to cut the food down yeah, so they so get more or less whatever they want. Education first yeah. and uh, if I just want to get them home yeah. and educate them and uh, ready for next year really yeah. yeah. So you do the darkness do you? Yeah all on darkness yeah. yeah tell us about your darkness when did you put them on? I, I shut them up about uh, five o'clock at night yeah. and open them up about seven in the morning. Yeah. Yeah, till, so, till about yeah. middle of June, and then they're back on. Yeah. You'll be very successful with the young ones, mate. As I say, that's Belfort Open. Yeah, we've picked some good ones out of there. It's a breed of bar, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. First year we won it with our own pigeon. Yeah. Second year we won it with Mickey Nuns. I think the third year we was, no, I don't know, five visits. We had the fourth year we were second with the one we bought. And this year, no, third, this year we were second with one we bought. Absolutely brilliant. It's a few grand there, mate. Yeah, and we've still got five, yeah. five of them that we've bought yeah. over the years. Yeah, absolutely brilliant, mate. You topped the combine you won. Yeah, won the combine with one. What was yeah. that? That was uh, Hathaway and Paul, yeah. checker, uh, dark yeah. checker. Yeah. Yeah. They got the Sujin pigeons, eh? Yeah, this was uh, Lambrec, I think. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, great fancy, it's Egham. Yeah, I don't know him actually. I tried to phone him up, but apparently he'd moved and he changed the number. That's it, Peter Apple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. 
uh, whether he knows or not, I don't know. I did tell Terry we'll Smart. We'll find out when he sees this. Yeah, but uh, yeah, thanks very much for that. It was a lovely pigeon. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> he also had a, he was in the Fed result as a young bird and he had a second as well as an old bird. So yeah. three good positions. Yeah, nice pigeon. Yeah. These are mixed young birds and they look like old birds because they've been in the darkness and look in fantastic condition. And Mick lets one or two of them sit. There's a couple of pairs sitting underneath the box perches there. As I say, they look magnificent. Well, you two, thank you very much for having me over this morning. I've enjoyed the loft visit. That's nice to see you again, Keith. Welcome any time. Yep, so, and congratulations on a fantastic season. Yes, and come you've come well by with you. Great place. And let's yeah. hope you get the last one. Yeah, mm -hmm. like the young bird nest, that's what we want. Yeah, this week, next week. Yeah, yeah. this week. Yeah. Well, good luck to you there. Thank you very 15, much. 15, we'll see how we get on.